What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got some feedback on the last video and I want you to know that I listened. Such feedback included, less intro, more clarity, and you're not Bob Ross. Yeah, I know. But you know what? I tried. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to jump right into it here. We're in Dungeon Painter Studio, obviously. And today I'm going to show you how to make a wagon complete with horses that you can drop into your Roll20 game or Fantasy Grounds, whatever you may be using, and be able to use it as a mobile prop. All in this software. So I've already typed in the search bar, wagon, hit search. This is one that I actually use to... Uh, show on our live game so we go up here to objects make sure it's selected and we drop it in real simple now come over here and wagon poles is what you're looking for we'll scale this up so that it fits the scale size of the wagon. Okay. Turn it 180 degrees. And then allow half. Still not quite right. So let's undo stick to grid. This way it moves freely. Drop it in place. Now, come over here to your object list. Drag the wagon to the top. There we go. Now, this is properly in place. Come back down to your search bar. Horse. Search. Now, this gives you a multitude of options, but what the most important option is, is over here to the left. It gives you, obviously, horses. Some of them are dead. That's not what you want. Instead, we're going to take this horse. We're going to put him right here. And we're going to take this horse. And we're going to put him right here. Now, these horses obviously don't have rigging on them or tack. It's my lack of horsemanship coming through. But, uh, you may be able to find something in here, but for the purposes of this demonstration, that's all I'm going to do. Now, if you tried to export this right now, it wouldn't work. And I'm going to show you why. You click export, and it pops up, and you've got even taking away the grid, the coordinates, leaving the transparent background, mind you. Your visible area stops on this particular horse and halfway back through the wagon that's not ideal so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and type shadow this is going to give you a basic shadow overlay you can do this with anything you really wanted to it doesn't really matter but what you're going to do is you're going to turn back on stick to grid leave allow half off and you're going to click here 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 and here now come back over here into your objects list shift left click to select all turn your opacity all the way down so they can't be seen now we'll hit export to png again look at that Drag your arrow down and leave the transparent background on. And then hit create PNG. This is set to a roll 20 preset. It's now exported. When the uh, save pops up, it'll come up and you can't see this on uh, on the video 
because my capture software's not being smart. But uh, the dialogue pops up, name it whatever you like. So we'll say horse drawn cart. And then you click save. And it's done. Now, the reason why this may not make sense is because the wagon, while it does take up six cells long by four cells wide, or three and a half in this case, and then you have the extra four or five cells that the bar takes up, and then the space of the horses, all of those each count as a single entity. And when you export, it only reads off of where those singular entities are which is why we brought in the shadow and put them on each corner that way forces the program to recognize that there is all uh, there's something all within that space so you export it and it's ready to go now you can just drag this into your art library in roll 20 and drag it directly onto your map as a token really super simple and you could also do this uh, as just the wagon and drop horse tokens in as well if you would rather do that depends on whether or not you want to strand your party with a wagon and no horses but I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click new and as a bonus ship roll 20 or I'm sorry uh, dungeon painter studio is loaded with a lot of nice presets. For instance, if you're running a naval campaign, go ahead and scale this up 300%. Now it's going to be a little blurry, but once you translate it into token form, not nearly as blurry, we'll put that guy there, scale this up to match. Lock it in. Turn on allow half so that it uh, meets up properly. Well, it's still going to be a pain. All right, fine. Line it up. And lock it in. Same thing. Come back over here to shadow. Enter. It'll reset everything to shadow. It doesn't really matter what you pick, like I said before. Uh, I just like the square one because it's simple. As I said before, go out one past the end of your token, here, 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 and here. Now, select all of your shadows as before, turn the opacity down to zero, click export. Now, something that I wanted to stress that I didn't say when doing the cart is when you export this, be sure to export it as a PNG. Because JPEG does not, it's not as high quality, and to my knowledge, doesn't export transparency. So, create PNG, and it's exported. As before, name it what you will, and you have a ship token. Okay, and that's it. It's as simple as it gets. Five minutes per token. Really all you gotta put in. Hopefully you guys can take this knowledge and build your own token so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on token packs or something like that. Because that stuff adds up over time. Uh, in the meantime, if you like this video, if it helped you out, hit the like button. Maybe even hit the subscribe button. Possibly the bell, even though I'm pretty sure it still doesn't do anything. Uh, but uh, anyway, until next time guys. Really what you love. See you next time.